There are 66 books in the Bible, four of which are called the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Matthew, Mark, and Luke are referred to as the Synoptic Gospels, meaning they all tell a very similar story. The book of Mark was written by a guy named John Mark, and most theologians believe that Mark did most of his writing in Rome, and that's not insignificant. You see, the Jewish people had long awaited the Jewish Messiah, or the Son of God, and during this time, Israel was occupied by Rome, meaning they ruled over the Jewish people. So naturally, they made the conclusion that this Messiah, their savior, was going to take the Roman Empire by storm, rule victoriously and with favor toward the Jewish people. But that's not quite how the story goes. The book of Mark is divided up into two main parts. Part one describes the person of God, that's Jesus, who he is, and is he actually the Messiah? The answer, yes. Early on in the book, God announces, this is my son. And Jesus goes on to prove that point. He performs miracles and healings. He controls waves with the sound of his voice and walks on water and feeds thousands of people with a single portion. Indeed, he was and is the Messiah. Part two describes the plan of God. And instead of overthrowing the Roman government, that same government turns on Jesus, mocks him as Messiah, kills him and buries him, so that ultimately God can show his plan for humanity. A plan to defeat death and to not just rule an empire, but to set up rule in individual hearts to establish his eternal kingdom. It's the person of God and the plan of God, and his name is Jesus.